So in this session, we're looking at uh, quickly fixing a, a white background. So if your flash is not fired or you've switched it off and you've kind of changed your mind, we can use the likes of the updates in Photoshop 23, both in Lightroom Classic and within ACR, whether it's through Bridge or uh, Lightroom itself to actually do the following. Uh, we're going to start off in a... Um, raw file um, but just so that you're aware that we can basically work through a JPEG which I'll demonstrate for you as well. Uh, however I'm not just kind of showing you one image I want you to actually show a workflow which is absolutely key so um, as you can see here all I've done is actually bring an image into the likes of ACR raw through, uh, through bridge and camera raw as it were and I've clicked onto the mask button and I've selected the background. By selecting the background, you can see that this is all kind of red here. And all I need to do is basically either use the exposure to kind of push that up. And there already we've kind of fixed our background. Um, or we could use the likes of the uh, new kind of curve element that we've got in here. So if you prefer and you want a little bit more control, you can actually work in the actual um, uh, curve itself to actually kind of increase it. Uh, but obviously white is white that's really what we're trying to get to what you've got to watch as well is any gray areas that might be in the corners where they tend to actually have vignette a little bit um, so that's a kind of the quick fix right so there's the before and after so if we do get a misfire it's not the end of the world um, again as far as whether you were doing it first of all in masking and the likes of um, going through into Photoshop and then opening camera or there. But as you can see, it's kept all the pretty much the fine details of the feathers kind of running all the way around here and things really. So I think that's a really good fix. And of course, at this stage, we're not affecting the face because all we did was choose the background. Okay, so let's just quickly repeat that, all right, because I went straight into it. We'll just choose another image so you can see it. And then we'll just go up into File, Open in Camera Raw. And in this case, we want to click on to the masking option. And then we want to select background. So as soon as we basically select the background, it's going to do what? Guess what? Select the background. Um, and from here, we can see we've got the kind of the red showing as the background. So that's the kind of the uh, war, uh, warning of what is going to be burnt out. And then if we just kind of push that likes of the curve up, or we come up to the exposure and we push it right the way through, then we get to see exactly the kind of the whites and everything else within things really. All right, so that's how simple it is. And we can see the mask up here is uh, running as well. So there's the, o uh, the overlay, that's the before and after. Let me just switch the overlay off so we can see the white. And that's the kind of uh, look we've got. Now, the great thing about this is I don't have to apply it just to one image. I can apply it to many images. So um, let's say that the flash didn't fire on these photographs, yeah? But we want them all to now have a white background. I'm gonna open these up in Camera Raw, which is Control R from here. That brings them all in. So in fixing the white background across the shoot, if we've had an issue, I would first of all select all of the photographs, then click on to the mask in, once more click on to the background. And Photoshop's AI is now going to uh, basically assess each of the images, look at the background for each of those images. So you can see now it's updating each of those photographs that I've selected. So obviously the more powerful your computer, the quicker it may be, but allow Photoshop's AI to do its job. Um, I would probably not work with more than say, you know, 20 images at a time. Otherwise it's gonna take quite a while. <clears throat> Uh, but of course we can apply settings across images um, but first first of all the key thing is when we're in a workflow we want to affect everything in this case we know we want to quick fix the white background that was gray so in other words we're now going to just increase the exposure element anything that is kind of a shadow we're going to push up to white as well if we want to we can push the whites more and then what I've just done is affect each of these photographs. As you can see here, each one of them has gone from a 
misfire or a switched off background light and it's created ourselves a quick fix in the high key as it were. So the benefit that you've got here in a workflow, just to take it one step forward again, is that if you, uh, let me just uh, select on a portrait one more, control A to select all those images. Now if we go into the masking, again, and we go to create a new mask, and I wanna select the people, this is going to um, then analyze all of these photographs. It's seen per person one, and there's only the same person in each one. So if I wanted to do a quick fix, not for commercial, but for more of a portrait photographer. So if I wanted to do a quick fix on face and body skin, yes, and I wanna create a little bit more um, uh, softness to it, all I've gotta do then is click onto this box, create two separate masks, because I want a different effect on the face compared to the body and skin. Then I click on the button create. Once I hit the uh, button create, remember it's got to do exactly the same as we just saw doing the background. It's looking at each of those individual images and it's then assessing the person and it's creating the face and the arm skin or the skin that's visible, including a little bit of tum tum tummy here. And now I can actually control it. So you can see how good a, a job that has done, in fact. All right. So because we've um, selected all of these images, when I make an adjustment now, all I'm going to do is basically soften the texture of the skin of the arms. So I'm going to be reducing that down. You can see the triangle has appeared on each of these images at the bottom. I'm going to soften just with a little bit of clarity as well, just to smooth any hair that me, might, might be there. And then what I want to do is do exactly the same thing and we want to work on the actual face, okay? So now we're going to select onto the face mask as such. Yes, we click onto the face mask. And now from here, we're going to do what? We're only going to affect the texture and we're going to avoid the clarity because the clarity is a mid-tone sharpness with it. And so you can see straight away that you basically have almost fixed most of the skin issues um, without overdoing it. Um, obviously, if you did want to fix the um, the kind of little marks on the faces or whatever it would be, as a portrait photographer, I wouldn't be doing that. And obviously, as a commercial photographer, you're going to do a lot of more of high-end retouching. But if there was a spot or whatever, um, you wanted to actually fix in the por uh, the portrait, um, select the first image and then go and basically click on just the one image and then do your retouching uh, to the area of the photograph that you need to fix as such, okay? We need to do this individually because the face is slightly turning between each image. Let me just uh, move that down. Yeah, it's um, just a little bit more there. Here we go. She's turning back to me more again here. So we can actually see there's a few little errors there within the, the hand in that last image. Did you see that? So we've got some gray areas that we need to fix there. A little bit of burning out here, but it's still done a magic quick fix. And there's a little bit of gray area in there as well. So we would need to actually um, go in for this particular particular one and, and do it within the likes of Photoshop to actually fix it. But what we've got here is really a quick fix for photographs to go from the likes of a um, misfire shot or a switched off image and then you can work work from there. So as far as the uh, raw files are concerned, we can also work in a, J a JPEG file in exactly the same way here. Uh, I'll just use one image, just control R, bring it open in raw. Once more, clicking onto the mask, select onto the background. Photoshop AI will actually do its job. Then we're going to increase the exposure to lose everything that we need. Then we can go into the create new mask, select the per, per person as it just did. Remember we want face, body, in this case, create two separate elements, click on create. Body and skin is first, so let's do that same thing. Let's take the texture down, a little bit of clarity. Let's choose on the face. As we do the face, I tend to actually zoom in. 
once you're kind of into um, doing a similar effect, you'll know what you want to actually apply towards the image. Uh, and then pretty much we're done. And that is how we not only fix the background to a pure white, uh, but we also create ourselves a finished image ready for preview.